بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Marcus at Tawheed for propagating the authentic Sunnah in Trinidad and Tobago presents to you. There's no doubt we all know the merits of the month of Ramadan. And the month of Ramadan is a mercy from Allah Azza wa Jal. Our Lord Tabarak wa Ta'ala knows his creation. As Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala said in the Quran, Ala ya'lamu man khalaqa. Does the not, is not the one who created you know? And Allah Taala wants mercy for His creation, as Allah Taala said, "Yurid Allah bikum al yusra, wa la yurid bikum al usr." Allah wants ease for you; He does not want difficulty for you. And Allah Taala wants to forgive you, and Allah Taala wants to have mercy on you. Because of that, Allah Taala said, "Yurid Allah an yatuba alaykum." Allah wants to forgive you; He wants to have mercy on you. So, because of our Lord being Ra'uf, Ar-Rahim, Al-Ghafoor, Al-Wadud. Because of our Lord being the most merciful. Because of our Lord pardoning our sins. Because of our Lord forgiving us. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has given certain places. He has legislated certain places and certain times where He increases the reward. Certain places like the Masajid, the Masjid. Prayer in the masjid is greater than prayer at home. Prayer in Mecca is greater than prayer in any other place on the face of the earth. So Allah Subhanahu wa Taala increases the reward that a person gets in certain places, praying in Mecca, praying in the masjid, and likewise Allah Subhanahu wa Taala increases the reward that a person gets during certain times of the year, like in the month of Ramadan. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Man sama Ramadan iman wa ihtisab, ghufir lahu ma taqaddam min dhanbihi." Whoever fasts Ramadan with faith and seeking the reward, Allah forgives that which has proceeded from his bad deeds, from his sins. And there's no doubt, we are all in need of the mercy of Allah azza wa jalla. We cannot survive without the protection of Allah. We cannot survive without the mercy of Allah. We cannot survive without the forgiveness of Allah. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala says, "Ya ayyuha nasu, antum al fuqara ila Allah, wallahu huwa al ghaniy al hamid. In yasha yudhibukum, wa yati bi qom jadid, wa ma dalik ala Allah bi aziz." Ya ayyuhan nas, antum al-fuqara'u ila Allah. O mankind, you are in need of Allah. O mankind, you are in need of Allah. Wallahu huwa al-ghaniy al-hamid. And Allah is self-sufficient. He doesn't need anyone. You don't assist Allah. You don't help Allah. You don't support Allah. You are in need of Allah. You are in need of Allah. And Allah is self-sufficient. إن يشاء يذهبكم ويأتي بقوم جديد. If Allah wanted to, He would destroy all of you, and He would bring about new people, and that is not something difficult for Allah. In the Hadith of Qudsi, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala mentioned, يا ابن آدم لن تبلغ ضري فتضروني ولن تبلغ نفعي فتنفعوني. In the Hadith Al-Qudsi, the Prophet ﷺ said that Allah Azza said, O oh, the son of Adam, you cannot harm me, nor can you benefit me. That's the reality. So a person should not think that the month of Ramadan, you're assisting Allah. You're helping Allah. You're supporting Allah. You're benefiting Allah. No. It's the opposite. Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated Ramadan for our benefit, not for his benefit. We are in need of Allah Azza wa Jal, and Allah has no need for his creation. Ramadan is a month of forgiveness. As we also we already mentioned in the hadith of the Prophet Wasallam, whoever stands on Ramadan, Allah forgives him for his sins. Ramadan is a month of dua. It's a month that you call on Allah Azza wa Jal. 
وَإِذَا سَعَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ If my servants ask about me, tell them I am close. أُجِيبُ دَعْوَةَ الدَّاعِ إِذَا دَعَانِ I answer the call of the caller when he calls on me. So Ramadan is a month of mercy, and we all are in need of mercy. Ramadan is a month of forgiveness. We all are in need of the forgiveness of our Lord. Ramadan is a month of dua, a month of supplication, and we all need to supplicate to Allah. Ramadan is a month of khayr. It is a month of good. Allah has ordered us to raise towards good. Well, Allah says, فَاسْتَبِقُوا الْخَيْرَاتِ Race towards good. Allah says, وَسَابِقُوا إِلَى مَغْفِرَةٍ مَنْ رَبِّكُمْ Race towards mercy from your Lord. It's a time that you have to contemplate. As Umar ibn Khattab used to say, حَاسِبُوا أَنفُسَكُمْ قَبْلَ أَنْ تَحَاسِبُوا And bring yourself to account before Allah brings you to account. It's a time for the believer to reflect what is my relationship with my Lord? If Allah was to take my life at this very moment, would Allah be pleased with me? If Allah was to take my life at this very moment, would he enter me into his everlasting paradise? Or would he enter me into his everlasting hellfire? If Allah was to take my life at this very moment, would I be happy or would I be sad? It's upon a believer to think over his sins. To think over how he has wronged himself. To think over how he has oppressed himself. In Hadith Al-Qudsi, إِنَّكُمْ تُخْتِئُونَ بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّحَارِ The Hadith Al-Qudsi, where Allah Taala says, Verily, you sin day and night. We sin day and night. So the way of the believer in this month of Ramadan, it's upon you to reflect. It's upon you to think about how the shaitan has tricked you. How the shaitan has deceived you, how the shaitan has fooled you. This is a time for the believer to reflect. During the month of Rajab, two months before Ramadan, the Prophet ﷺ used to say, Allahumma barik lana fi Rajab, wa fi Sha'ban, wa balighna Ramadan. O oh Allah, bless us in Rajab, and bless us in Sha'ban, and allow us to see the month of Ramadan. The brother mentioned that Ramadan is in about two, three days. Two, three days or less. Who from amongst this is guaranteed that he's going to see the month of Ramadan? Who's from amongst this is guaranteed that he's going to see tomorrow morning? No one. The Sahaba used to say, إِذَا أَمْسَيْتَ فَلَا تَنْتَذِرِ السَّبَاعِ وَإِذَا أَصْبَحْتَ فَلَا تَنْتَذِرِ الْمَسَاعِ The Sahaba used to say, if night comes about, don't expect to see the morning. And if the morning comes about, do not expect to see the night. Allah did not guarantee that we are going to see the month of Ramadan, even though it's after two or three days. No one from amongst us is guaranteed. But we all have sins. And we all have transgression. And we have all wronged ourselves. And we ask Allah Azza wa Jal to have mercy upon us. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam used to say, Oh Allah, bless us in Rajab. Bless us in Sha'ban. We're still in Sha'ban right now. And allow us to see the month of Ramadan. So the doors of paradise are opened. And then the Prophet وسلم, said, Thumma yunadi munadin Ya baghi al khayr iqbil Someone calls out. Anyone that wants to do good, come, do it. Now is the time to do it. Wa ya baghi al shar iqsir and the person that wants evil, get away. The Prophet said, this is what happens. The people that want good, come forward. It's time for you to do good. And the people that want evil, stay away. And then the Prophet ﷺ said, And verily, Allah will save people from the hellfire. Verily, Allah will save people from the hellfire. This is the month that we need to take advantage of. This is the month that you need to rectify yourself. If you want from amongst those individuals that did not pray for the year, or you pray every once in a while, or you pray only on Friday, or you pray once a week, or you gather all of your prayers and you pray them at the end of the day, if you were that type of individual, Ramadan is the time for you to rectify yourself. Allah has locked away the shayateen. Allah has opened up the doors of paradise. Allah has closed the doors of hellfire. 
Do you need any more help? 